Well guys, as promised, here we go. We're going to start going through all those past year Every Bit Counts challenges. I'm actually pretty excited about this. And as I started this video, the one thing I remembered is I forgot a book to write stuff down. So I'm gonna go get a book and we're gonna come back and we're gonna get started. I really hope you enjoy watching through these. I haven't watched them actually since we posted them. So this will be interesting for me. I'm gonna make some notes on things that I did previously and see how that kind of lines up and we'll talk about it a little bit at the end of the video. All right, so I'm officially ready, so let's get going. Week one of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. So how did we do in week one of the Every Bit Counts Challenge? We're gonna tell you. Week one wasn't super, super productive. Um, we are at that point where we're not quite into full on canning and harvest season. The tomatoes are just starting to come in dribs and drabs. So to be honest, they've been getting thrown in the freezer. Uh, we did do a bit of dehydrating, which you'll see coming up here, but all in all, we did not achieve the goal of something every day in week one, but we did get a few things done and we're gonna show you that right now. So for the first day of the Every Bit Counts Challenge, what are you harvesting, James? Uh, well, I came out and Harvested some mint. Mint. Look at this beautiful mint patch. And I think this is, has been our quickest harvest of the year because it only took like 10 seconds to fill this entire bowl. So I know. So what are we going to do with it? Make smoothies and tea. Oh my gosh. James looks so little. And this is back in the time when they were actually helpful and seemed like they were enjoying it. <laughs> That's wonderful. See, this is what just fun to see. The mint patch is rocking again this year. So I'm sure we'll be doing some dehydrating, although we've been doing that already up till now. So there might not be as much of it because I'm not sure how much we need, but hey, we're gonna go on the theory you can never have too many herbs. And here we have our big bowl of mint, all dehydrated, you can hear how crunchy. Just gonna break that up. And it's going to get put in there to fill up our jar. Now I'm thinking my jar might not be big enough, but mint is a great thing to put away for teas in the middle of winter or any evening, to be honest. And uh, we also, as you know, use a lot of lamb here, which does require a lot of mint. Day one, August 1st, one full one liter jar of dehydrated mint. And now, Next on the list for this week, we are making our pickled turnips. This is too funny watching this. I'm actually about to put into a video for uh, Just Can It, making these turnip pickles. They are so wonderful. It's something that we do every year. It's like the only way we use turnips. And here it is. I love this. So we're actually a little bit early on a few things this year, it would seem. Because like I said, we've already put a lot of mint away. And now I'm doing the uh, turnip pickles t this week as opposed to two weeks from now. So that's kind of interesting. I'm really curious as to what we're going to be working on this year because everything seems so out of whack in the garden. We'll put the link to the video above in case anybody's interested in trying this recipe. It's an amazing way to use your turnips. Day two, four more jars, one liter in size of fermented pickled turnip. So for day three of the Every Bit Counts Challenge, we are making some dried herbs. We've got a tray full of wonderful parsley out of the garden and another one full of basil. These are going to come in very handy in the middle of the winter season and also later on in canning season. So for day four of our Every Bit Counts Challenge in week one, we are freezing and packaging up. We've got some kohlrabi here that's frozen that we're now por portioning, or not really portioning, but putting into a Ziploc container. We don't do vacuum sealed portions. We don't blanch. We just chop up and put on a tray. It works great. Oh my goodness, guys. So if you just watched my Just Can It and Getting Ready for Every Bit Counts Challenge video, you saw me with that container or that uh, plastic bag of what I thought was turnip that I took out of the uh, um, freezer. It had been in there for a while, not labeled, had no idea, thought it was turnip. We dehydrated it and it's now in a jar. It was kohlrabi. This is great going back. This is why it's so awesome to document so many things because I had no idea. 
it didn't smell like anything in particular. So we dehydrated it and labeled it turnip. So now I'm going to go and write on that that it's actually kohlrabi, which uh, I guess is good because we like kohlrabi better than turnip. But that's an interesting little tidbit that is really funny that we just discussed that and dehydrated it in the last video. And here it is here. And, uh, the nice thing is we can just reach into this bag and pull out a handful as we need it. So that works awesome. So that's part of our preserving for the winter. And another thing that we're going to be working on is fruit. So we ended up with one full large freezer bag of kohlrabi. Uh, we also ate quite a bit, but this is great for storing for winter use. And we're gonna get some more planted for our fall crops. But next to go on this tray, we have blueberries. So again, we just flash freeze these so that we can put them into bags and grab them out. Uh, most of this will probably go to jams and uh, blueberry applesauce, that sort of thing for over the winter time. Again, I'm coming back to this and saying it's very interesting because we are two weeks ahead. We are already harvesting our blueberries. I think by August, there's not going to be anything left. And here we were picking these blueberries and freezing them at the beginning of August. So again, what are we going to be doing in August? Because everything's so weird. But it's interesting to be making some notes of things that we did do and what I kind of want to focus on. So far, nothing's really come up in this video that I'm going to be focusing on too much more than I usually do. But there's still more to come. For right now, because we don't have the apples ready from the orchard, we're going to just get these frozen and into bags to use up later. The blueberry patch is producing like wild this year. First time we're on year three now and the blueberries are pouring in. We still have more to go, but this is a great start. So as you can see, that's as far as we managed to get in week one. Now I can already tell you because we're actually filming this part way through week two because hey, we are behind as usual. But week two is going a lot better. So stay tuned for uh, that video to come, hopefully more in a timely manner. Uh, but we're not disappointed. It's uh, really starting to kind of hum, I guess you could say, in the garden with uh, the, the threat of tomatoes and the overgrownness of herbs and things like that. So uh, a lot of freezing, a lot of canning, hopefully coming up in the next uh, two weeks, three weeks. And uh, we'll see if we can do a little bit better on next week's challenge. So all in all, it was a pretty drab week for my first time doing the Every Bit Counts Challenge. But we're going to go into 2023's Every Bit Counts Challenge and we're going to see if we did any better that year in week one. So stay tuned tomorrow for that video.